hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel for those who don't know me i go by the name of the bright tomato tomato with an apostrophe also known as color moralu also sorry also known as the tomato moralu it literally depends on where we meet okay yes welcome back to my 105 I have gone through a narrow path to get to 100 subscribers but nevertheless I am so grateful and I know that I owe you a story time but today we are not doing that to anyone who's new please subscribe and become part of the family there's, there's you, you can't you can't be supporting me get the corner corner get the back door no Mm -mm. please subscribe and join the family okay thank you before we go anywhere i have an update for you there's um there was a time i posted on instagram that can please can people please subscribe because there's something that i wanted to apply for um i did apply and unfortunately my application was not successful because they needed someone who posts regularly who is active on social media and all that and all that and honestly speaking i get what they are saying <laughs> because i haven't been doing much of that and now that i know what is it that i'm supposed to do i will try and make sure that i live up to their standard so that i can join them so today we are doing a little get to know me um i'm going to hurry because i don't want this video to be too long so i'm using the ngl app because i think i have six questions there and then from there i'm going to be using the questions that i got from instagram so the first one says spill some tea on your best friends i don't do that uh, uh, mm. i don't there's no reason for anyone to do that provided the fact that you are friends or you're not friends anymore if they told you something that they regard as sacramental or private to them keep it that way who are your best girlfriends i don't like the term best friend because i honestly do not have a lot of friends and all of my friends back home are my best friends all of them uh the problem is i'm a very territorial person and if you if if i regard you as my best friend you're supposed to be my best friend and my best friend alone and go right and go right and go right and go right <laughs> And that's not how it works in life i know it doesn't work like that so i'm always trying to shy away from the term best friends because hey it's not nice being a territorial person it's really not nice so i'm coming so i had to switch off my torch from the phone because but like it's making me too bright so bear with me nice mm. nice then what encouraged you to start a youtube channel and how is it going so far independency honestly um i wanted to start it last year but i was still a student and i really had no other life besides uh practicals school studies all those all of those things so when i finally got a job this year i decided just to formally start a youtube channel and so far it has been good the only downfall is that my phone stopped working and i couldn't shoot for a couple of weeks and because of that my numbers have went down so very bad oh so very bad but I'm hoping that we'll bounce back. 
I'm always here if you need anything. I, I don't know. I don't know how to respond to that because I don't know who sent this message. So thank you. But who are you? Do you believe in God? Yes. And I will keep on doing that until I die. Even on my deathbed, I will still believe in God. Even if they say we kill you now, I will not change my statement. Amen. Then, um, dream job, honey, I don't dream of labor. I really don't do that. Darling, I've told you several times before, I have no dream job. I do not dream of labor. I was not born to do labor, okay? <laughs> I do not dream to be a teacher for the rest of my life. However, um, I'm looking forward to branching into entrepreneurship. And I will just vala it right there because I don't want to be jinxing. I don't know how to pronounce this word, jinxing. I don't want to jinx my things. Yeah, I don't want to jinx. I don't. Oh. you get it then what is your definition of a good day for me to know that i've had a good day is when i do re my reflection at night and realizing that everything that i had planned to do for that day i was able to do it without having to compromise my peace without arguments without all those emotional turmoils that is what i regard as my best day oh my good day your favorite thing to do daily talking to my maid <laughs> oh, i miss my man Girl, oh my god hey little too good yes <laughs> talking to my man period what motivates you to keep going independence guys i yo i i I don't know how to ask for help so i tend to do a lot of things by myself if i do not have the means to get something sometimes i'll just keep quiet and let it be but also the situation at home is not bad but i would like to improve it where i can but independency and having my own money my money hi that is what really keeps me going then What's one thing you will regret doing every time you do it? This one, it's not every time I do it, but it's every time after I have done it. Oversharing. Sana, you will spill the beans, the mushrooms, the coffee, the milk and whatnot. And during the process, you will not even realize. Finish talking. That's when you will see it all. I should have kept my mouth closed because this person now knows everything that they were not supposed to know so oversharing is my biggest downfall what is one thing you wish people knew about you i'm very observant and during that observation time i keep quiet because i don't want to miss a single i don't want to miss a single detail one slight change of behavior or tone towards me literally shuts me down that bridge disappears now there's a distance between you and i yeah favorite childhood memory i don't think i have one but i loved everything about my childhood i was a happy child I'm, i still am but now I'm, I, 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 I'm an adult with things that I need to sort out. So back then it wasn't anything related to that. So yeah. Where did you matriculate JM Ntime Secondary School? There by Mokwase, Northwestern Rustenbeck. That's where I come from. Age 
Barry, a lady never discloses her age. So, you're going to pass. <laughs> do you have siblings? If so, Wabukai, I do have two older brothers. I'm the third one. So, I have two siblings and I'm the third one being the last born. Are you an aunt? No. By, by, by blood, I'm not. But I am by association. I am because I have people like regard as my sisters from my neighborhood. So one of them is a child. So because I know their mother by association, I'm the aunt. Finish. The reason you got the worst beating from your parents, I never got one. Look at me. Look at my face. I'm not, I'm not problematic. Nothing about me. I'm not problematic at all. So I never, I never got one. <laughs> I never got that worst beating from my parents, honestly. What do you regret doing in life? Prioritizing people who do not reciprocate energies or the energy we give them. Hey, I'm so big on energy, Shem. If I'm happy for you that you have you you were able to achieve something when i'm also achieving that something or something similar whatever that i'm achieving can you please show me that you're happy for me because i've always been happy for you once i'm not about shading and i'm deleting like i really don't have time for people who are not authentic and for people who pretend like i'm playing straight to hurry what's going on because if i have to read in between the lines I will read in between the lines and I will stop talking to you. How many schools did you attend to? Sarodire Primary School, same location. Next door, Sarodire KJM. Yes. <laughs> Do your parents know that you are dating? What are they saying about that? My mother knows. My dad knows. But he hasn't said anything. And I'm also not going to say anything to my dad. Yes. But my mom knows and she's okay with, with that. She, she's okay. Yeah. How long have you been with your current boyfriend? This one is a bit complicated. Hey? <laughs> I've known him for a while. We are approaching a year. And... Yeah, we are approaching it. Let me leave it there. We are approaching it. Finish. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to be talking a lot about that relationship. Like I said, I don't want to be jinxing things for myself. So that one, let's just leave it there. A rumor that made you cry. I had a fallout with a friend and what I believed um, she was doing to me she said what i was thinking that she was doing to me is what i was doing to her you know so if my close friends would ask me what happened between you and madam a i would explain that madam a says this this and then but the same things that i say about madam a she also says them to her friends so that friendship uh fallout really had um a negative impact on my feelings so a, a, a tear or two were shed but yeah how do you deal with friendship fallouts i don't deal with them do i really deal with them i don't because like i said i'm a very observant person so before it can even get to that point of being a fallout I already have an idea of what is happening so when it happens it's like oh but i saw it coming you know but i wouldn't i wouldn't say i deal with them emotionally yes if i have to cry i will because i don't want to be withholding things that should that shouldn't even be withheld especially when it comes to emotions so mm -mm. if i need to cry i will cry but i'm definitely not going to cry for the whole year why did you choose education because i like sharing information because 
once i'm in a comfortable space i talk a lot i like engaging with people also and yeah favorite food anything that has meat meat is my yo we're getting tomatoes or chili but meat don't you dare don't you dare do you drink alcohol yes but i drink the wines i'm a wine girl you should age like fine wine. That's what I'm trying to do. What do you love about your boyfriend? Everything. <laughs> and my man, my man. And my man. And my man. Thank you to my man. Everything. Um, I like the fact that we communicate. I'm only going to mention one. We communicate um a lot actually we communicate every day every day communication you see that lack of communication i don't have it here communication must be galore so that is what i love about him okay how did you how did you meet him him meaning my boyfriend i met him on instagram a message was sent a message was received um plans were made to meet up and since then June, <laughs> so that's how i met him and obviously where there where there's people there's always be there will always be conflicts and whatnot what is important is what do you do after that conflict you see so we met on instagram he made it out of instagram to whatsapp from whatsapp to reality and that's one period okay yes i hope that you have enjoyed the video please guys you can see that numbers are bad numbers are underground Please share this video on all your social media platforms. The link, the motivation, I'm begging you. Ha. How? Huh? <laughs> but I hope that you have enjoyed the video. Next time is going to be a live update instead of a get to know me. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the video. Don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a relative and a colleague about the channel. Okay? Until I see you next time. Bye.